Authorities say they found 60 people being held captive at an Albuquerque trailer, including children under 10. This happened after one of the desperate victims called for help. Here's News 13's George Gonzalez. On Sunday, the Albuquerque Police Department requested the assistance of the Department of Homeland Security after receiving a tip from the National Trafficking Hotline. They say that tip came from a female victim who says she was trafficked from Mexico and brought here. And unfortunately, it's more common than you think, um, especially for victims of labor trafficking. According to the federal criminal complaint, agents with the Department of Homeland Security were able to track the cell phone where the call came from to the East Gardens mobile community near Wyoming and Zuni Road. Now, court records show law enforcement witnessed about nine people leaving in a white colored Toyota Sequoia with California plates. The SUV was pulled over near I-40 and Wyoming where they found all people inside it to be illegal. When HSI entered the trailer, they say they found 60 undocumented people in the country illegally, including kids under the age of 10. They were huddled, struggling to stay warm. Now, a lawyer specializing in these cases says victims of this crime aren't aware of their rights. We do actually see a lot of cases um, with trafficking victims and a number of trafficking cases that I've had, the person isn't even aware that they qualify for a human trafficking visa um, because it's very common that you see people who are trafficked for labor. According to one of the victims, six men were responsible for kidnapping, sexually assaulting, beating, and forcing them to do labor. Now, authorities arrested and charged one person, Joaquin Miguel Rolando. He's being charged for transporting illegal immigrants and holding them hostage. He, will, he made his first court appearance this morning in federal court and will be held until Friday at, for a detention hearing. George Gonzalez, KRQ News 13. The victims say they were only given one meal a day, and if they did not do what they were told, they said their captors threatened to cut off their heads.